I have this 11 by 14 inch canvas that came from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using this napkin that I got from Christmas Tree Shop. Whenever decoupaging with a napkin, you want to remove all your layers or plies from the napkin so that you're just left with the designed part. I'm going to be decoupaging with some Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear. You can also use the Wise Owl Varnish or if you prefer Mod Podge. Using a Gen Foam Brush, I'm going to apply the One Hour Enamel to the top half of my canvas and then lay the napkin down and then I'm going to do the bottom half. Sometimes with larger surfaces I like to do it in sections. Now keep in mind the canvas does have a rough texture to it so you may get a little bit of wrinkling. And also you will have some wrinkling when you first lay your napkin down. Be sure to take out your saran wrap and your brayer and rub on top of your napkin. This will help release any bubbles and also help with the wrinkling. And then as your project dries, you will see some of the wrinkles go away. Now this is not completely wrinkle free, but I'm okay with a few wrinkles. And once I have the napkin on, I'm then going to place a top coat of the one hour enamel clear. Both the one hour enamel and the varnish can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. Now once that is fully dry, I'm just gonna take a sanding block and sand in a downward motion around the edge of the canvas and this will help remove any excess napkin. I got this stencil from Hobby Lobby. It's the farm animals. It says clunk, oink, and moo. And I'm going to take my blue painter's tape and I'm going to cover up the words, just leaving the cow, pig, and chicken visible. I'm going to place that on the center of my canvas so that the cow is sitting on top of the greenery and using a foam dabber I'm going to paint that with the wise owl black. Now of course you could pick any colors of your choice. You could add more color to this. It really depends your style. I'm going for more of a simple farmhouse look here. Now the key with stenciling, you want a small amount of paint on your foam dabber and you're going to lightly dab over your stencil. You may have to go over it a few times. Too much paint will bleed underneath the stencil. Once it's covered, I'm then going to remove that. I printed this off my computer. It says, into all a good night. I use the font brush script in the size 96. And I'm going to place it on top of a piece of carbon paper. And then I'm going to trace on top of that with a pencil. And I'm just going to trace the and to all in the top left side of my canvas. And you can see as I push down on the carbon paper, it put the font onto my project. And then I'm gonna do below that to the right side, a good night. Now, if you do not have a neat handwriting or a steady hand, this is a great way to get font and writing on your projects. Now, some of the carbon did rub off on other areas, but it came right off with my eraser. I have this paint marker. You can get these right from Hobby Lobby or any craft store. And I'm going to then trace my pencil with my black paint marker. And this went on very easily. Remember, I do have the top coat of the one hour enamel clear before doing this. And then to finish it off, I'm just gonna add a hanger to it. I marked two inches in from the left and right side, one inch down from the top of the canvas, and I drilled two holes into the canvas. Now there are many ways you could finish this off. You could frame it, you could leave it without a hanger. I'm going to just string a jute hanger through each of these holes and tie a knot so the knot is exposed on the outside of the canvas. And then if you want to add any decorative ribbon or anything to the jute, you can certainly do that as well. And then there you go. I tied the two knots on both the left and right side and now we have a very easy jute hanger 
And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.